Our last lesson just identified the fact that when the stomach acid splashes up onto the esophageal cells, that can eventually lead to precancerous changes in the cells known as dysplasia. And those dysplastic cells can undergo further changes to become cancerous, especially if the acid keeps splashing up onto the esophageal cells. And I asked you to identify the most important safety concerns of people being able to self-prescribe antacids for their reflux. You were right if you said that people with reflux may rely on the antacids for 10 or 20, 30 years, failing to seek out proper treatment or medical advice. Most doctors recommend an endoscopic evaluation of the esophagus after about 20 years of reflux, just to make sure that the person is not developing esophageal cancer. Remember that we said that antacids were indicated in occasional relief of heartburn, but not for gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is the point at which the disorder becomes chronic or long-standing. One of the biggest problems with relying on antacids is that they can actually result in a more acidic environment. When we neutralize the acid in the stomach with antacids, the stomach detects that low amount of acid and signals for an increased secretion of acid, resulting in what we call a rebound hyperacidity. And we should just take a moment right now to apply this to other medications because this type of rebound effect is fairly common. It's often the reason that a person would need to be changed to a different medication that works by a different mechanism of action. Remember, our body maintains a thing called homeostasis, which is the ability to establish an equilibrium or stability in its internal environment. And when this is disrupted by a drug, the body responds accordingly. For instance, many of our diuretics or water pills work for a relatively short period of time before the body adjusts towards equilibrium and at that point, the diuretic is no longer effective in reducing blood pressure. Let's take another exercise. One of the responsibilities of the acid in the stomach is to aid in the absorption of many nutrients. And it also helps in the absorption of many drugs. And using just that information, predict the best time to take antacids to ensure optimal absorption of drugs and nutrients. With meals, with other medications, or one to two hours before or after meals or other medications. And you were correct if you answered one to two hours before or after meals or other medications. Remember, we did not give you that information. You figured it out using the kind of exercises that help you build your clinical reasoning skills and at the same time help you remember and understand the important information. The applying your knowledge questions don't have to be difficult right now. The important thing is you start developing the habit of applying your knowledge. Right now, let's go on to get a quick picture of the most important specific antacids.